Hi, everyone. Welcome to the August edition of the Reading Research Recap. For this month, I chose a paper about decodable and authentic texts, and it's called Text Types and Their Relation to Efficacy in Beginning Reading Interventions. The kind of core question they asked was, which is better for improving student outcomes, using just decodable text, using just authentic text, or using a combination? But first, let's quickly go over some definitions. So decodable texts are carefully controlled on letter sounds to match a given scope and sequence. Non-decodable texts include things like trade books, leveled readers, or pattern texts, and can often be referred to as authentic texts. So while they may contain simple, repeated text structures, they are not specifically designed to control for letter sounds or help a student learn to decode. So what does the research say about this? Well, there's strong theoretical support for the use of decodable text as part of an explicit systematic phonics instructional approach, but we all know children need exposure to a variety of different text types. And there's stunningly little research on this topic. So that's why these authors chose to study this. So they wanted to add to the evidence base on which interventions were most effective. Interventions that included just decodable text, just authentic text or a combination of both. So they took three recent meta-analyses, looked at each individual study in those meta-analyses and coded them by text type. So did the intervention use decodable? Did they use just authentic or did they use both? And then they compared the effect sizes across those three types. Let's see what they found. The researchers found that both text types, so decodable and non-decodable led to the largest effect sizes. But there were pretty severe limitations. So the authors state they could not account for things like type of instruction, group size, or teacher expertise. That's why they have this quote in their paper. They urge people that, to take these, um, to be very cautious about these results as they're just tentative. All right, what does this paper mean for you as a teacher? Well, unfortunately, not a whole lot. This is not the type of paper that can definitively answer when to be using decodable text, what amounts, and in what balance in terms of authentic text. It does suggest we should be using both authentic and decodable text, even for struggling readers and beginning reading instruction, but we kind of already knew that. So I have to say, just stay tuned if there's, you know, some sort of great paper or great research that comes out on this topic, we'll be sure to cover it in the future.